Hey guys, how are you? Hope you're all well. Welcome back to the channel. What are we looking at? You're probably about sick of seeing this, uh, these little steel saws. This is another 024. It was labeled just an 024, but I think it's a newer saw uh, than the other. The fuel tank's different. Um, and the plastic, it had like the really the newer plastic, I guess you would call it. And the badging was different than our other wood boss that we had built and put together. Um, I've ran that saw a little more. I'm having some carb issues with it. Um, I think there might be trash in the fuel tank or something. Who knows, it seems like there's always something, but it made one little ripper of a saw. Um, if you remember, let's see, it was this cylinder we pulled off of that saw. Open port design, it's hogged the hell out. Um, you'd probably use it on a play saw, had a really high exhaust roof. Um, but what I want to point out is the tonsil intake. Normally this intake would be a little higher here in the bottom. It's been ground out as well, but um, what I'm wanting to show is this cylinder, and I don't think I'll even have to pull a piston up out of it to give you a look. Um, it is an open port design. You can see down in there, uh, yeah, you should be able to see it pretty good, but it's an open port design. Basically, it's missing the bridge that's normally in the closed port cylinder. 42 millimeter. Uh, this saw even has a different crankshaft than the last one. Um, this crankshaft looks to be about billet or something. It's like a, I can pull the cylinder off in a bit and show, but um, it's, it kind of put you in mind of like an 880 crank, but it kind of doesn't, if that makes sense. Um, I know it's one of the crankshafts that's really, really strong and can take a lot of RPM. Um, so that's kind of the route I'm thinking I want to go with this. I'd got this saw, if you guys remember that really nice O26 I had back a year or so ago. Um, I've since traded it off last year. Um, actually had it back here for some ignition repairs a few months back. But um, anyway, I bought that saw with this one on eBay. Um, somebody had been mismatching parts and the cylinder that was on this, the piston, was just all scored up and had transfer in the cylinder. Um, I put a new piston in it and cleaned the transfer out of the cylinder and was able to get it to run, but just I didn't have any interest in it, so it just kind of sat out there in the shed ever since, but it does look like it's going to need a fuel line. I'm going to have to get a fuel line for it, but... Um, I think in the first video on the other 024, and it's kind of what this is about, um, being able to <laughs> interchange cylinders. Um, now, I was under the impression that you probably absolutely could not just bolt a 260 cylinder on one of these, or, you know, a uh, 026 cylinder, because this has a 30 millimeter crank, as to where the 026. 024 Super, we have one of those and an MS-260, I'll share a 32 millimeter stroke crankshaft. Um, I put, if you guys remember, when we put the uh, cylinder on the other saw, it had a mile of squish, which is making me think maybe that cylinder might have been off of an 024 Super. I honestly thought that these cylinders were all taller and shorter, but matching them up to this 260 cylinder. And I've messed with these saws for every bit of eight years. They were some of the first saws that I ever took apart was a 026. Started fooling with those. Um, it's kind of how I got into the trade and kind of learned what I know now. Just trying to figure out what makes them tick and how to make them go. Um, but anyway, um, this cylinder will go right on this saw. The main 
issue being is my 60,000th solder, it's just kind of just like the last one we done, it'll just barely touch it, not enough to even put a mark or mash it. Um, I put 100,000th solder in and it was, it was too big, so um, what I'm thinking is about all we would have to do to this is pull 35, 40 thousandths off of the base like we done the little bow 24 wood boss kind of have a unique build on our hands here. Um, this would run, this thing would start and run as is. Uh, I've checked the numbers on it, you can see I have the degree finder on it. Um, the intake port was really similar to the last saw we done with the OEM 42 millimeter cylinder. Intake timing 67's where it, that's where it opens and closes. Um, I don't care who says it, the dwell, twi the, the dwell time at BDC and TDC, it's going to have the same amount of dwell on each side of the crankshaft. Um, I don't know how some people's minds and brains work, but that is how we set these finders up. Um, a lot of people put a piece of wire or a pick in the intake port and balance it out there. Um, this one uh, had 134, so I set the degree finder at 67, and it's smack dab on 67 on either side of the rotation, if that makes sense to you. Um, you know, it is what it is. I'm not here to argue with anybody, but any real builder will agree with that. Um, if you don't, I just don't know what to tell you. Um, you're, you're smoking better stuff than I am, I guess, and my stuff's pretty good. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> jokes aside, um, the exhaust is on 99. Actually, for one of these saws with that cylinder, believe it or not, that's not that bad. Uh, on the O24 Super chassis that I had over there, I swear, I think it was actually touching the squish band. Seemed like I had to cut the squish band, I think, to even get it to fit. Uh, don't quote me on that. It's been a while since I fooled with that, but I bought two of these cylinders at the same time. From the Duke, if you're curious, but um, transfers are really similar to the last one. Um, 130 is the earliest reading I could get, which after machine work and after grinding on the other cylinder, I think I left them at 129, but um, I think we can make this thing run really strong. Um, I think all I'm going to have to do is cut the base. Um, I don't think there's any sense in doing any piston or any band work, because after I cut the base, it's going to have a fairly low exhaust roof. Now, I'm not 100% sure how many cc's this is going to be. I'm thinking it's going to be 45 and some change, 46 cc's maybe. Um, I'll have to put it in a calculator and then I'll throw it in a caption here, I guess. But um, 30 millimeter stroke, 44.7 millimeter bore. Um, then the next issue, which these carburetors on these, it's the got the same, it's just a little Walbro WT cord. They had some Tillotsons on them. Um, like I said, that's kind of what I was in there doing this morning as I put together an OEM Walbro carb for that other saw. And man, she was running good, but just like the other one, after, you know, a dozen cuts or something, screen and the carburetor stopped up so I'm thinking I'm going to have to change strainer, flush the tank and clean things up again but um, that's kind of where I'm at on this is uh, this is going to be a long term project I've got to order some parts but the bottom end of it feels amazing uh, you can see how clean it is um, I honestly think the thing maybe had been straight gassed or something by the looks of the cylinder and piston when I got it here, but I don't think I, I might have paid a couple hundred bucks for both saws, I think, which you, you probably couldn't even buy one of these for that now. Um, it's getting kind of crazy 
the price of things and it sounds like we are getting some much needed rain and they have not gave any rain in sight um, if I quieten up you might hear it but we needed rain in a bad way it's not rained here in a while you probably hear the thunder and like I said it wasn't in the weather forecast anywhere at all so I hope nobody had hay down here in the area if so that sucks <laughs> it's supposed to be hot so it'll dry back out fast but um, this will be a project you might see on and off it may be a week might be two weeks before you see another one um, I've got a couple saws here I need to work on I need to build um, but back to the price of parts I mentioned that in another video I've got a toad out there I could build a couple if not maybe three 026 260 saws but the uh, price on parts right now and price on shipping on parts it just it's just not in the cards I'd be cheaper just to buy a saw than I would to build one but um, we've got other projects I've got a 365 here behind me I have everything here to put it together I think um, Got an old school 346, 45 cc version. Um, I need to get in here and check it out and see what it's gonna need. It did start and run, but you, you can just never go by that. But um, several other builds, guys. Um, anyway, I kind of thought that was interesting. Let me pull this cylinder off and. Uh, see if I can get zoomed in here in closer and give you guys a look at how this crankshaft's made. It's kind of unique. Yes, you can get a good look at it. Um, say that's one of the crankshafts that's supposedly very, very strong and can handle a lot of RPM. Um, I don't know if I'm just going by here, see, but me looking at it looks pretty dang stout. Um, like I said, this thing did run, so, um, you know, a fuel line coming up with a, a really good carb. It had one of the older Tilly carbs on it. I don't have a problem with those, but I don't really have a kit here for one either, so I um, have to look into that, but it wouldn't take a lot to get this running. It's missing the clutch drum. Um, those little thin clutch drums for these older saws are really hard to find. I'll have to dig around and see if I have one. I don't know. Um, I can take this 260 drum and chuck it up in the lathe and turn it down to where it'll clear and fit in there, which is more than likely what we'll do. But um, I don't know. I think it'd be cool to try to make some kind of little hot rod out of it. I ain't gonna say racer or hot saw, but. Um, I think it'd be something different, something a little unique, but I'm sure people have just got on eBay and ordered, you know, $20, $30, 260 cylinders and bolted right on one of these and it fired up and ran. Probably didn't run well. This would run, but uh, 99 roof, like 70 thou squish maybe, um, you know, will be nice and call it 60 it's not going to run very well at all. Um, you know, I'm sure you muffler mod and time in advance and squeak a little more, but you're probably looking at 120 pounds of compression if you're lucky. Um, but anyway, guys, this is probably boring enough. Um, you guys let me know what you think. You might know somebody that's done this. I don't know. Um, we do this and use an 036 intake boot drill out the handle, put an 044 carb on it, make us a little velocity stack, um, you know, it would be a sweet little run on saw, I think, it'd probably do good with just a factory carb and air filter set up, but anyway, guys, um, that's all I got going on today, uh, y'all have a good one.